so bad. about it and he was telling me about different things about her that you know he had learned and I was you know just listening and talking um but uh he had mentioned that um, he didn't want to but he was going to have to said that uh, what he would do in order to motivate him to want to use a condom 
I'm not trying to sell them like 
But it will get back to the fact that aside from shoes, food is something else that is financially hindering me. And it's also physically hindering me because, you know, I genuinely eat. If I'm not at work, I eat and I go to sleep. And I, I started to notice, like, so I can take a lunch to work every day. I pack my own lunch. And I just start to notice how I'm starting to pile more and more stuff into this bag. More and more stuff into these bags that I'm carrying to work. And they get heavier and heavier. And I'm thinking to myself, like, like there should be, like, some of this bag should come back home with me. Like, I shouldn't be able to eat all this. And a lot of times I do because I find myself throughout the day, like, randomly just continuously eating. And another person that I work with, that I, I mean, a co-worker uh, came up to me and was like, I mean, and this was, I mean, we're all playful, you know, it's work, you know, we're, we're, we're playful with each other, but uh, came up to me while I was eating some Pringles, no, I wasn't eating, I was eating a cherry pie, like one of those little bitty mini cherry pies, and uh, came up to me and she said, that's not a part of your diet, and it, it made me laugh, like, it made me laugh really hard, like, I thought it was super funny, because it's like, it's like I tell people at work, sometimes you have to laugh to keep from crying, and that's just, like, people took that, I mean, I know people hear me say that, especially in, like, a public setting, like, work, they hear me say that, and they assume that, like, that's just, you know, humor, that's my way of, you know, being funny. In all reality, like that's the realest statement that I can make sometimes. It's like it's not that what she said hurt my feelings. It's really just the fact that someone else that is pretty much a stranger to me notices or has heard me say something opposite of what I'm doing. So like yeah, I'm gonna, you know, start working out or start going to the gym or get more on a diet. Things that I've said at work. And then they see me eating these cakes and these snacks and they're like, what happened to that? And I'm just like, I know, right? What happened to that? And it kind of just happened. So for Thursday, when this was happening, all of this stuff was making me extra emotional. Like, I was literally trying to stay away from everybody as best I could because I mean we're all basically in the same room the people that you work with the closest we're all basically in the same room and uh, I'm trying to stay as far away from everybody else as I can because I'm actually seriously getting super emotional about this stuff like why can't I get this stuff figured out why does it feel like this stuff is controlling me why can't I get a handle on emotions and feelings that I'm having because I don't like them. I don't want to keep continue being this way. I just allow myself to succumb to the things that I'm weak for. And it's like I can't understand how easily for me to cold turkey smoking like no problem like I've been around so many of my friends since I've stopped and the urges have not even come close to me to be willing to go back down that road but I almost feel like I should go back down that road for the fact that I'm going to either become overweight which I don't think smoking stop me from being overweight I just think there was something else to do in between time that that filled more of my time than just eating. Now that I don't do that, it's like food was like the new hand to mouth complex. And I hate it. I really do. I, I catch myself getting food and eating in times when I'm not even hungry. I drove home 
this morning, Monday morning, because today's Monday. I drove home Monday morning from Lacey's house. And I told myself, as soon as I got up, I was like, don't stop at McDonald's because you're not hungry. We had a great dinner, like we ate plenty of food for dinner. You're not hungry. focus so much on the other problems that I had going on. I kind of just brushed them under the rug and I kept that victim victimhood mentality. But now that I've let those go and like the smoke is clear and settled out of my mind and I I, I walk past the mirror and I see myself and I'm just like, dang. You suck. What happened to you? Like, you used to have it figured out. You used to have something going on. And you used to have a little bit of this life figured out. Uh, at least enough to get you through a normal day. And now it's just like, man, I, I see so little grasp on reality in myself. And it's just like, I feel like I've let myself go more since I've let go of the substances than I did when I was on them. Like when I would look at myself in the mirror and I smoked cigarettes, I was definitely skinnier. And 
when I was smoking weed, I was definitely happier. I was just like, hey, man, hey, you're not half bad, you know, because your mind is clouded by, you know, complacency and procrastination. Not that stopping doing those things has improved that. I'm still a procrastinating son of a bitch. I'm still a fucking complacent as fuck. And that's not good for anybody. And that's definitely not the, the direction that I'm trying to head. But I don't know. I gotta I gotta really like analyze like a path and a plan because these vices have got to be embedded into my program so deep that they go hand in hand with why those substances make me feel so comfortable. And I have to figure out how to uplift them from my psyche so that these other new, not so much new, but these, these deeper embedded vices can be uprooted and replaced with more productive habits. If not for anything else, but for my sanity, because I don't want to keep having these terrible thoughts and thinking all these ill-minded things about myself and my life sucks. That's all I got for right now. I'll get back to you guys later. Uh, I got uh, about four more videos I need to do. I don't know if I'm going to upload it today, but I'll get them recorded. That, that's for sure. I'm going to upload it as soon as we can. But as always, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, I will be back with you guys as soon.